this was just too funny. I had to share it. So this show, I guess this UK show, Jeremy Vine on Five, they challenged the self-proclaimed sausage buddy king. I don't know what that means, but this like sausage expert, Mike Perry, to tell the difference between a vegan sausage and a regular meat sausage. And you can probably guess what happened. It is absolutely obvious to me, <laughs> this first one, is the false sausage, OK? Right. That's not real sausage. That is cardboard. <laughs> the second one is clearly the real sausage. I could taste the meat in it. Excuse me. It was luscious and lovely. Tasted a bit like the one I had this morning. <laughs> this is the winner. OK. Very interesting. What do you think? Do you think he's got it right? I mean, he's, he's a... I, he is the expert okay. on sausages, so I suspect he's probably got it right. I'm gonna t well, it's, it's, a, it's certainly, Mike, you did it with great conviction. Are you right? Is Mike right? Has he correctly identified the meat sausage? The answer is that the meat sausage <laughs> sandwich is actually down here, Mike. Mm -hmm. You've just eaten two vegan ah! sandwiches. I can taste the meat in it. I think that shows how far vegan mock meats have come. I would love to know what two he tried, but that's actually not the funniest part. You've tasted sausage, right? All I can say is that that's cardboard and that's sort of almost cardboard, <laughs> almost <laughs> cardboard. I call it tissue paper. So it went from luscious and lovely and you can taste the meat in it to almost cardboard. <laughs> Now, to give him credit, he seems to be having fun with it. What an underhanded, <laughs> downright <laughs> rotten trick to put on a man whose reputation now is the great sausage butty king, Drew. I mean, I assume this is real. Oh, no. Am I being played again? Is this the Drake cookie thing all over again? <laughs> Assuming this is real, he seems to be, you know, taking it rather well. But yeah, I find it really funny that he goes from this is great to Meh, better than the other one, but not good. That mm. was very interesting. Mm. I'm presuming mm. you would rather Probably. have a, a real sausage than a, a vegan sausage, correct? I would rather have a real sausage. However, yes, I do think there is an argument for vegan food. Let's not forget, we were just talking about climate change. One yeah. of the things you can do to help climate change is to eat a bit less meat. And I think one of the reasons why people are making so much fuss is because um, farmers are making or meat producers are making a fuss is because they know that lots of people are shifting not totally to a plant-based diet mm. but to eating more plant-based mm. food. So just a fun little thing I thought I'd share maybe a palate cleanser after the shorts and I do love how eating meat has become like a personality trait for some people. Again I think he's mostly you know doing this in jest but for some people it really is like important to them that they eat meat, it's part of their identity. It makes sense for vegans, you're doing something that you believe in, you're going against the norm, right? But for meat eaters, you're doing it because you don't like that vegans are doing what they believe in. <laughs> what vegan sausage do you think he was eating? The one that he liked? Anyway, thank you for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, have a good day. Oh, my, it's, it's broken. <laughs> It's just broken. Cool.